slay the Witch of the Wood. End this great pestilence at once! Whatever you ask, sire. Where are you? Do you think it needs more saffron? You infernal witch. You lot are always so quick to play with your swords. I am Sir Rifen, knight and protector under Lord Merrick. You insult me and his worship. <clears throat> Definitely more saffron. Lord Merrick is good to his people. He's a glorious and honest man. Glorious, yes. Honest, no. Blasphemy. I shall gouge your eyes for that. When the disease for the masses, what did you or your lord do? You hid in your castles and grand cathedrals where countless were left to be feast for crows. Hypocrite! The peasants believe you created this monstrous affliction. I am no... Hypocrite! You must be punished, Sir Rifen, for your arrogance. Last words, Hag. This grove shall be your grave. Hold fast, wayward knight, for I have an offer. One much more 
enticing. What if I could offer an end to the blight? A cure? My attempt the medicinal man, unfortunately your head is of greater value to me. Your wits deceive you. For bringing a cure back to your lord would grant you unimaginable glory. In fact, might even grant you a castle of your own, lit with servants and the finest wines. If I were to agree, what would you ask of me? A small task. I would ask you to retrieve a rare flower for me. To find it, you must first listen to the river, up the stream to its source on the hill. At the summit is where this flower blossoms. Such a trek is not kind to feeble bones as mine, so I shall stay and gather the rest of the ingredients. Do this, and we have a cure. No tricks, witch. <laughs> this is no trick. You get your honor, I clear my name. You see, I've grown rather tired of the village idiots and their stories. The evil woodland witch who feasts on men's flesh. I mean, it's not far from the truth, but it still hurts. All right, witch. I shall retrieve your flower. I eagerly await your return. In return I shall. Keep your sword at your hip, Vagabond. To whom do I speak to? I am Sir Gareth, knight unto Lord Merrick and his kin. Ah, so... <laughs> right. I am honored to have crossed paths with you. To what do I owe this pleasure? Lord Merrick. He couldn't simply rely on a single knight to slay the witch now, could he? He told me, ride forth, honorable knight and fine, poor Rifen, before he meets his end. Lord Merrick thinks me ill-equipped for such a quest. His mind grows more clouded by the day. <laughs> Have you slain the witch then? Yes. The deed is done. Where's her head? Retrieving it was made clear. I know that much. Gone. I let the pagan's body burn to bits after I ended her miserable life. So? Then where are the fucking ashes? My good knight. 
Why, why do you look to that flower? I'm collecting it. For the witch. To my ears deceive me. She plans to concoct a cure for the illness. She can end the plague. I will deliver this to our Lord as a token of my good faith. <laughs> See that, my good knight, is where you fumble your words. I will be the one to deliver it, and I shall reap its benefits. Bastard, you have no greater worth than a filthy peasant! That flower is mine. Let the blood spill clean. Indeed. Before, in the forest the valley of flesh with haste. I've bought, bought your, your flower, flower enchantress. enchantress. 
Hmm. I was beginning to think that you were food for the worms. I had a minor squabble with a fellow swordsman. Must have been a brutal fight. Yet it seems you came out its champion. Yes. It seems my swordplay was too much for the poor fool. What an honorable knight you are. Are you done with that stew yet? Is it ready? Yes, yes, it is finished. Here, Sir Rifen. You should have the first taste of the cure after such a strenuous endeavor. <laughs> you flatter me, witch. It seems I'll not only be lord, but one devoid of ailment. Tastes like wine from the Holy Grail. Does it? Tell me, Sir Knight, what do you plan to do with this cure? What I do with it is not of your concern. But I feel I shall distribute it amongst the royalty and then the clergyman. What of the peasants? Doomed to die, unfortunately. You can't feed all the chickens in the coop. Doomed to die, very true. Defines all our fates, no? <laughs> Indeed. Let us pray. Our end of days is not near. Though... Death can creep up when you least expect it. Bitch, drink the stew at once or I will cleave your head from your wretched body. Well, you see, Rifen, that would not save me. For there is no cure. No one escapes the plague. Not me. Not you. Seems the plague is now within you. You lie. I cannot contract the illness. I was baptized under God's glorious gaze. I am immune. Did you drink the stew? What are you doing to my... No, 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 this cannot be. This, this is another illusion. I'm afraid not, dear Rifen. The plague can spread in seconds. Did you not know this? No, I, I can't. I can't. Don't I... worry. All things pass eventually, even this plague. It just seems that you and I will not see that day. Ha <laughs> ha